We're getting some research done. It's not bad. What about here? Hello everyone, Thranks is here, and welcome back to Surviving Mars, episode 17. And it looks like our drone hub over here has indeed malfunctioned. It is within range of the other drone hub, so we just need somebody to drop off some electronics, and then we should be fine. Or if we have to, we can come over here and at least help ferry the food. There you go. Taking the food and concrete where it needs to go, that's good. <clears throat> Dust storm approaching. I'm not sure what this shuttle is doing. And here's going to be the real test. The dust storm. How are we doing here? About to get 130 food. About to get a lot. It's gonna be six. Is gonna be 70, 80, 90. Okay, so we're almost at a 100% there. Dust storm. That's going to be problematic. Vacant residential slots 25. Vacant work slots one. Let's go to. Hmm. So that, that dome is okay. This dome is doing okay. Using a lot of our metals and we're getting the concrete shipped over here. This, are you really full? With a good bit of metal still to go. Storage space is full, but we don't have Well, this storage space isn't full. Drone load is heavy. Oh, because they're building that. Yeah, we need to build some of these. We need we need this drone printing, um, which we already researched. So let's see how big that is. That's the real question. Drone assembler. And it's large. Um, vacant residential slots. Go ahead and get rid of the medics. We're going to manufacture drones over here. Go ahead and get rid of the infirmary. So instead of a hospital, I give you guys a drone factory. Enjoy. Oh wait, it's built outside. Um. <laughs> Whoops! That's that's okay. <laughs> these these things happen. Um. Gee, I don't have a diner. I guess we'll go back to these little park areas here. Okay, and the drone factory is in... Actually, it probably could be built inside, right? If there was space for it? But it wouldn't fit in a little dome. You could make it maybe fit in a large area? Hold on a second, because if that's really the case... No. I'm sure it's an outside building. Yeah. Okay, well then, let's put it right here. Interesting. Unemployed vacant residential slots. Okay. Um, more rockets, I think. More rockets. How about a passenger rocket? Yes. 
22 colonists on their way. And then I'm thinking some electronics. Yep. And some machine parts. Very good. Very good indeed. Let's go ahead and take that requirement off. We'll leave all the other requirements on. This one is good. 26 vacant slots. We could research the more storage on our rockets. Where is that right here? Advanced passenger module. We don't really need it just yet, though. Research amplification. That's a number one. Sorry, I didn't see that sooner. In fact, we're going to we're going to outsource a little bit more. Hey, look at all that food. Lots and lots of food. I feel like we're doing really well. Global load is heavy. Wait till that dust storm settles. We'll have problems. You guys are moving stuff over here just because you can? That seems a little goofy. Okay, fair enough. Uh, I believe our rockets will arrive prior to the dust storm. At least that's my hope. Still trying to get concrete shuttled over here. We could do... No, we need to stick with research amplification for now. And just wait for the electronics parts to be sent over here. Which, do we have a generic storage over here? It's all the way over here. But why? Okay, let's send a few drones over this way. Hmm. Could be that we're just really low on electronics, which it looks like that is the case. Which is fine, we're about to get some more. This dust storm is... Mm, it's going to be a challenge, it really is. So much of our transportation relies on these shuttles. We're trying to balance everything out. Um, this area though... Oh, that's for maintenance and stuff. Yeah, probably have to leave that there to maintain everything. Okay, we're ready to land. Um, 60 machine parts can go right here by this. Um, 60 electronics can go up here. And then the other one is 22 passengers with food. We'll put that there. Three hours ahead of the dust storm, too. Cutting it close, but we managed. Resources are low. Our water production could take a good hit, too. You can't take the sky from me. Nice. New colonists have arrived. And there's your dust storm. Okay, so once the dust storm breaks all of our moisture evaporators... Okay, let's go up top here. Okay, so this area is also ruined from the dust storm. It does affect everything. That's fair. We're getting some research done. It's not bad. 
What about here? A little bit. We need more colonists. We need a lot more colonists. Um, drone assembler. Um, how about no night shift? Unemployed 12? Well, then you guys got to go somewhere else, right? Okay, let's make... Let's make 30 drone prefabs, shall we? That sounds good. We have a food shortage. Nuh-uh. We do. Uh, this farm is going to pop here right at the end of the day, though, so we should be okay. And then they just got their food. Okay. And this dome still has a good bit of food over here. Okay. All right. I think it's going to be fine. Um, we just need more machine parts to end up over this way. Let's ferry them over. Wait a second. Do we really not have that many machine parts? We really don't, do we? Well, let's keep making them. Best workers are engineers. Um, yeah, I don't know about all that. Vehicle battery low. Uh, who? Um, yeah, okay. And you can park right there on the power wire. There you go, and you're good. Um, so here's what we can do. I, I believe there is an easier way to micromanage these drones, is we can say, you don't need this many. 12, 10, we'll put you down to 10. Turn you into prefabs, right? Then over here, where we're struggling, with heavy load, we're going to order 10, 11, 12, 13. Might as well. That's a lot to do. It is. There's a lot going on over here. I'm waiting on electronics. That's okay. Plenty of food now. Plenty of rare metals. I'm going to get everything all fueled up here pretty soon. Oxygen and water going down kind of quick. Um, let's see. We've got about three souls remaining of Dust Storm. Water is really low. About down to half. O2 is fine. We're going to have plenty of oxygen to get through this. Hmm, the water storage, though. Real big problem. Oh, that pipe might help. We get that pipe fixed. Still decreasing at 1.4. Hmm. Doing the research amplification, that's good. We're up to 2,200 research per soul. The labs are filling up with scientists, which is good. The Hawking Institute's not so much. Um, these aren't even built. These, needs el these need electronics over here. I'll have to get those another time, though. How are we looking over here with this big thing? Still waiting on machine parts. Okay. Well, I don't want to take the last bit of machine parts that we have. You're really backed up on polymers? No, you're awaiting fuel. Because they're taking it all. It's understandable. Didn't we have a new fuel place over here? No, we didn't. 
But what we should have is fuel storage. We've got two concrete... <laughs> We've got two concrete storage Research areas. Complete. But no fuel depot. That's weird. Oh no, we do have a fuel depot right there. Okay, well, I'll dismantle that. Resources are low. Uh, it's because we keep landing rockets over here, I'm pretty sure. Did we upgrade you with both? Yeah. 20 fuel production per soul. That's pretty good. We can stop fuel production to help with our water issue. Which, honestly, I think that's what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and turn all of that off. And that did not diminish our water shortage nearly as much as I thought it would. Hmm. Still decreasing kind of quickly. We did get research amplification, though. That's cool. Next thing on our list was the Martian network. That sounds good. I'm a little nervous. We are losing that water. Seventy, this will be eighty, this will be ninety, this will be a hundred. So that's good. Um, I guess we can go ahead and cancel some of these electronics. Oh my goodness. What do we have for the dust storm? One soul, ten hours? This is going to be tough. This is going to be tough. A lot of stuff is starting to break down. This area over here will be good, though, because they're actually the ones making the, the electronics. Making scientists or engineers, one of the two. I think we're going to go ahead and open up the night shift here at the school. I think that's important. Everything there is good living anyways. Insufficient fuel. Really? It's because our shuttles can't juggle anything. Hmm. How are you doing up here? This place has already failed. Both drone hubs. Um We have a water shortage. Right, we sure do, don't we? Let's get over here so we can empty this this waste rock area over here without water for 19 hours. What else can we do that's taking water? Um I believe the polymers are Oh, this area shut down. Oh, I know what we can do what's using water. Um, hold on. Um, all of these can turn off. Gosh, I wish I would have thought of that sooner. So this one has also broken down. There's not really any machine parts over here. That's tough, not having the machine parts where you need them to go. Dang. We have a water shortage. We still do have a water shortage, don't we? Uh, let's see. So we've got this one working again, but it's going to shut down soon. Because it doesn't have any machine parts. Looks like it might get repaired. No, it, it doesn't say it's got a drone on the way. 
I don't think there's any machine parts over here. We got 12 hours left. This dome doesn't have any water. Um, dust storms are the most difficult to manage just because they shut your shuttles down. Go ahead and heat this area up. We don't want this area to freeze. We have a water shortage. Yep, domes without water. Hmm. We've only got eight hours left. I'm kind of hoping we're going to be okay. But only time's going to tell on that one. Hmm. Five hours. Mm. Oh, now this one just went. Oh, that's not good. That's so not good. Okay. Go ahead and get your machine parts. We're going to do this one at a time. Let's go ahead and shut the polymer factory down for now. Okay, machine parts. First things first, we're going to unload some over here. Um, oh, well, the dust storm is over, so I guess things are going to start being fixed now anyways. Let's come over here so we can fix the drone hub. Um, well, here, if you're going to put down machine parts, come put them down over... They've already got them. All right, then go ahead and put them down over here. We're almost out of our water shortage. Almost. But all of our... Evaporators are off. They all have to be repaired and maintained, and most of our drone hubs are offline. These dust storms are pretty severe. Please go ahead and give us some electronics, please. No, they're bringing colonists. Buildings are all broken down and we stuff. Have a water shortage. No, I know we have a water shortage. We need these drone hubs to all be high priority. Like top, top, tippy, tip, tip top priority. Okay, you obviously need to come get some electronics. Forget the machine parts. There you go. Come get yourself 10 electronics. Yeah, global load is heavy. You think? It would be really great if there was like a breakthrough or some kind of research that allowed your shuttles to fly through dust storms. That would be killer. Which there might be, to be fair. I don't know if there is or not. Alright, come drop off your electronics here. Please, and thank you. Yeah, the shuttles are just flying constantly. Wait, why are these idle? If the load is heavy, why are 20 of them idle? Oh, this one can't... Oh, because they're, they're all busted. Okay, good. Now you can come over here. We're going to do the same thing over here. We're going to grab some electronics. And we're going to ferry them over in that direction. What are we doing here? We're going to need the concrete soon. 
Still waiting on 200 machine parts. Mm, RC Rover should be able to handle Resources this. Are low. Really, we just need more drones. If we had more, uh, or not drones, more vehicles. If we had more rovers... Please and thank you. Let's get everything nice and repaired, please. There's our water surplus. Boom. Back to having a surplus. Whew. Um, can we maintain the drone hub, please? Goodness. Priorities, everyone. Priorities. All right. Drone hub's operational. Let's make sure everything else is good. We're going to come back over here. We're going to turn on our subsurface heaters. Because we're still good with a water surplus. So we're going to turn back on the polymer factory. Back on all the fuel refineries. There we are. We're still at a surplus. Good deal. Okay. Things are starting to equalize now and balance out. This area is still a little dorked up. But there's still water here. So I don't see a reason to just leave it high and dry. Let's go ahead and we'll put a rover over here. And again, we're going to need to grab some electronics and bring them to where they need to go. Still got 16 idle, but the global load is heavy. What am I not understanding? Is it just that we have more of them that are busted? Yes, this one is busted. This one is working, and most of them are idle. A few are in flight. I think at this point there's just not enough electronics to go around. We simply need more. We could start another shift. Unemployed and homeless. Um, and you guys need to go to another dome because this place is sort of maxed out. I'm going to get resources back from all of our power decoys that we don't need anymore. That's kind of cool. Destroy. Uh, I, th I think we did get most of them now that I'm looking at it. Yeah, we did destroy most of them. Any anomalies laying around on the map from the meteor showers? Nope. Uh, things are coming together here, though. This looks this looks good. Sporty. How are you doing? Did we not get a third rocket? Where's our third rocket? Oh, not quite fueled up yet. There you go. All of them ready. One, two, and three. Lost a little bit of our power surplus. We are in need of quite a few electronics. I think we're doing okay, though. Insufficient electronics. Yeah, see? We're starting to outpace our electronics. Food looks like it's keeping up, though. It's going to need to stockpile up food over here when we know a dust storm is coming. Relaxation, drinking. Relaxation is fairly easy.
we can go totally like that and that and then over here we'll put a small garden that'll help out we're crunching up those electronics pretty fast actually what are we doing over here still 179 you're within range, right? Should be requesting uh, machine parts. Yeah, it's just taking time. Well, when these rockets get back with their funding, we can always request more. Mm, orbital engineering, that could be fun. Mm, that would be nice. Mm, a lot of this stuff would be nice. We really need to get our research up there. I feel like 2,000 is really dragging behind from where it should be. We could build more fusion reactors. Bonus power. I mean, that wouldn't that wouldn't really hurt. Nah, it would, actually, yeah. We don't have the electronics for that. Not at this time. I say again, not at this time. No, we don't really need... Meteor incoming. Well, I guess go ahead and put a fuel depot here then. There's no sense in it just sitting stagnant like that. One eighty five, it's coming along. Yeah, there's just so many things looking for Funding electronics received. right now. There's that funding. Look at that. Um, unemployed. I feel like that's a goofy thing to have over here. Unemployed. How about now? Vacant work slots? That's more like it. Okay, well, let's call some colonists down then. Oh, only 14? No, no, no. There we go. 22. Fit our parameters. Um, specialization scientist preferred. Alright, launch. How is this drone hub doing? Uh, drone load low, medium, one, two, three, four, or nine, okay. How are you doing? Yours is low, low, complete. low, low, that's good. The Martian network, very good. Low and low, perfect. Now, let's go down here. Let's look at what the Martian node would look like. Overall research output of the dome. That's what I'm talking about. Right there. That's it. That'll do it. Looks like building performance is coming down due to maintenance. This building is starting to do good. Uh, the laboratories are, for the most part, doing good. We just need there to be more scientists over here. What's the birth rate over here like? Children, children, children. Um, as much as we're getting Martian born, we should... Oh, what is this? Dream reality. Stimulates the development of new perks and adult colonists throughout the entire colony. Uh, that's cool. Um, but this is like completely obsolete with the whole eternal fusion. Residential building upgrade. Home collective. Hmm. All this Martian born stuff is pretty cool. Martian born ingenuity. Martian born gained 10 performance. No. 
Ugh, there's so many other things I want to do. We need the rover command. Emergency training. Dome streamlining. No, that'll work. That'll work. To be fair, I don't really care about emergency training. I do want the rover command AI, fueled extractors, then we'll do dome streamlining. That's good. So let's get a cargo rocket with some electronics. How about that? That'll help us out. And then we can get another rocket. Oh, maybe. Am I allowed to have a rocket? Yes, and this one will have machine parts. Thanks, come again. Okay, oh, what do we have here? The excavator. Built right over top of the concrete deposit. I don't even care. Ooh, construct a wonder. 7,000, that's a pretty good sto uh, store there. 500 colonists, 1,000 colonists, Megadome. Okay. Well, we absolutely need more domes then. We need, we need dome city everywhere is what we need. No power. Uh, did I not connect you to... Huh, it won't let me power it. How weird is that? Um, maybe maybe it goes like this. Resources are low. Okay, that one works. That works. Uh what's low? Electronics, that's okay. That's about to be fixed. Perfect. This will work. All right, first one is going to be 22 passengers with their food. There you go, just land right over here. Plenty of work slots and residential areas available. Plenty. Boom and boom. New colonists have arrived. That's right, they have. Gaming, social, luxury. Hmm. Gambling. I don't think I want to do gambling. Gaming, social. A lot of gaming requests. We could do an electronics store. I think we could do that. Ooh, we got that research per soul up. This will be good once the network node is built. Vacant work slots, more vacant residential slots. So we're going to need more. Go ahead and add two more drones to that. Then let's come over here and let's go ahead and say we want to request... Um... Oh, they're building more. Okay. Let's go ahead and build all 19 of the electronics that you have. That's fine. There they go. Um, actually, no, here. We have more electronics right here, which you can take. And then these machine parts. We'll take those over here. Oops, can't go there anymore. What about here? Is that in range? Good. Good, good. Meteor incoming. Ooh. That needs to be redone. That'll be a pr that'll be a problem. That pipe? <laughs> yeah, we'll need to fix that pipe. Oh, this one's already ready to go. Okay. Head on back. Okay, well we have more than enough electronic parts at this point in time. More than enough. So let's go ahead and construct the network node. And then we're going to need more residents over here. 
Are you ready to go? You are ready to go. No, you're still unloading electronics. Boom. We'll work two shifts in there. Why not? Um, I don't know. It doesn't say, does it have to be like all three shifts have to be filled? Just overall research output of the dome. Is there a way I can... Oh, we can change the skins of the dome? Eh. Not that big of a deal. Uh, but we will rename it. Yeah, this, do this dome is the network hub. And then this one will be health and learning. Yeah, this one's going to be humble beginnings. Speaking of, how are we doing over here? One vacant work slot. There's more residential slots over there. More jobs can be done over there. This, this has vacant work slots, but everybody is full up. Oh yeah, look at this thing go. There it goes. Are you keeping up with it? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, well, there should be concrete storage over here, yeah. So we'll just keep it up. This thing's pretty great. Looks like it's just going to do nothing but get concrete non-stop. That's pretty epic. Kind of a fan of that. Funding received. Research per soul. Oh, look at that. A thousand off the research labs, fifteen hundred off the Hawking Institutes. Excess power of almost another thousand. That's good stuff. Um, no, 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 no. Abort the launch sequence if it's still got electronics on it, and that one still has machine parts on it. Well, here, you, you need to actually be upgraded. Water surplus is very, very low. This area is still running. Hmm. Nope, that, that deposit is done. We've got tons of concrete now. There's absolutely no reason to need to even learn to turn the waste rock into concrete, but we could. We have a food shortage. No, no, no. Okay, you guys don't have a lot of food, but you guys do. So do me a favor and bring this food here. Thanks, thanks. We could do we could do the smaller hydroponic farm. Oh, it's under life support. Yeah, we could do a little hydroponic farm. A couple of them here. How's the comfort? Gaming, gambling, social, shopping, relaxation. See, I feel like we have to go... We have to go with... Let's see, that's luxury and shopping. Shopping and gaming. Luxury gaming, gambling, social. So take out one of the labs. Uh, the only other alternative is we could go... I think the electronic store is a must. Just because how much everybody wants gaming. And then...
I'll do another diner because there's so many people here. I think that's good. That'll help. 3909. Almost breaking 4,000 research per soul. That's pretty good. That means it's only five souls for these heavy hitters. So we can actually outsource some more here before long. So we'll unload these electronics now because of the store here. There you go. There's get you some food. Why did that vehicle turn back to charge? It should... Okay, no, there it goes. Food. Wonderful. I almost wish you could tell the shuttles how much you wanted to stockpile on each storage area. Oh my goodness, look at the time. Yeah, so that's going to have to be where we wrap up the episode. We did get our wonder completed. Um, so that's good. Um, let's see, over here we have... Oh, things are doing great. Nurseries are just filling up. And then over here... Everybody appears to be doing their jobs. Cold wave approaching. Cold wave. Hmm, okay. And there we go, more of the concrete. Yep, that is the end of it, though. So this has been Surviving Mars Episode 17. Thank you so much for joining me. I do hope you've had a good time watching, because as always, I've had a good time playing. So please come back next time as we start to plan out where the next dome will be. And what it will be for. But until next time, take care.